Hello and welcome Leo to your mid-month reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. You might see a sign, a symbol, a message on one or several of the cards. If you do take notice of that, it is a message direct from Spirit to your situation. So let's take a look at your first card and it's about change. Change is good. So if you are going through a change at the moment, embrace it. I am strong enough to give up bad habits. Change is for good and I have this. So you might be breaking some bad habits or some things that you're wanting to remove from your life and you're, you're supported energetically over the next couple of weeks up until the end of the month, especially to break these habits. Whatever change this is for you, it is good. So place that energy in your life where it fits, of course, Leo. You may be traveling over the next couple of weeks as well. Traveling opens my mind and raises my self-development to new levels. So you might be traveling, you might be planning travel over the next couple of weeks. You might be going abroad or it might be more local, but traveling is definitely going to be coming up soon for you if it is not something you are already doing or planning. Guidance for Leo, please spirit, angels and guides bring through a message for Leo. Karma cleanse, liberate yourself from karmic patterns of the past and live a life of creative choice. Releasing karmic ties and bonds, recognizing that a relationship was a karmic situation and it's been worked through is what I'm receiving from spirit. So you're now free from that karmic, from that karmic bond. You're detached from that karmic dealing. Retreat from situations that are not in harmony with your soul and open your heart to greater love of self. So detachment might be necessary over the next couple of weeks, perhaps detachment from a person, a place, a situation from your past, from a negative habit or temptation that you have, um, place the energy where it fits, but detachment in some way is key. Guidance for Leo, please, spirit. Angels and guides bring through a message for Leo. The Gouldian Finch, and it says optimism. So this is about staying positive mindset. There needs to be optimism in a situation, and it is right below change is good. So I feel that these two cards are really pointing in the direction of changing your mindset and recognizing that that this change, whatever it is for you personally that you're going through or perhaps moving toward is ultimately going to be a very good thing. And we have the flying fox. Self-nurture is the key word. Nurturing of self, self-care. And, and, and these things are important. You know, it's something that we can overlook. But over the next couple of weeks, um, focus on self and Making sure that your cup is full. So, you know, if you're giving a lot to a situation or, or a person, you know, maybe rein that in a little bit so you can take care of your own needs. Guidance for Leo. Maybe you've been giving too much for your to your work or your job, for example. Let's see. It's never too late to create a new body. So focusing on your physical health seems to be important over the next few weeks. Even the slightest change in your diet can generate a new body and a fresh mind. Avoid eating anything today that creates conflict in you. Observe how instantly your body manifests a grateful feeling. So yeah, focus on the physical body and a healthy eating lifestyle. That comes into self-care, of course, or self-nurture. And your second card from this deck is the individual epitomizes the universe. Um, okay, so let's see. Also, I am being shown the world here, which does tie into traveling. Okay. Where exactly does your influence on life end? You'll never know the full power or consequences of your actions and choices. 
enhance the whole of life today through your actions. So really what Spirit is saying with this card is that you will have a greater influence, impact on others or on a situation than you realize. So your influence is greater than you realize in a situation. Guidance for Leo, please, spirit, angels, and guides. Bring through a message for Leo, please. And this is the Six of Swords. You're actually going to come out the other side of a difficulty, a challenge that you need to overcome. You're going to be okay. There's going to be a soft landing. The Seven of Rods or Wands. You're waiting for something to be completed. You're waiting for you're waiting for a pattern to end, a cycle to end. It is right next to the karmic cleanse. So you may just over the next few weeks realize a relationship is that you have is kind of karmically connected to you and you're waiting for this cycle to end and you will be able to do that through detachment um, and self-nurture. You might be at a crossroads in some way as well. It can represent that. And I was just saying crossroads. You are at a crossroads here. You're unsure of which direction to go in. Follow your intuition. Follow your heart. What is your heart saying, Leo? You're going to choose the direction, make the choice that is right for you. A life-changing miracle will be able to come into your life once this happens. You really will hit the jackpot if you take your... If you take what you're feeling in your heart and you take action on it, you say something, you do something, you really implement what you're feeling, moving toward it in a real way, you, you will hit the jackpot and with such a blessing, such a miracle will come into your life. And don't be afraid to take a bit of a risk here because you will land softly. The Four of Pentacles, holding on to what you have, making sure that you have a security in some way. You have security. You have security. You're working towards security in some way or another. It might be security in a relationship, security with your possess possession, security at work. Okay, so you're working toward that um, or you're securing up something this week. Um, over this week or the next uh, two weeks or so. There's divine timing that is coming into play here. The six of cups, divine timing. And also there's a message on the past. So someone from your past is um, on your mind, in your subconscious. You might be communicating with someone. Someone might be coming back into your life, perhaps. And this is the Queen of Wands. So you're ready for action. The Queen of Wands is great at multitasking, great at getting things done professionally and personally. So I see that you will be able to take some leaps and bounds ahead this, this week over the next couple of weeks, actually, uh, Leo. And I feel that you're really moving in the right direction. There does seem to be something about this security or holding on to what you have or building a solid foundation and definitely something around Mm, a life-changing decision or choice that may have recently happened or is coming up for you very soon. And travel, that's come up several times here. And also cleansing, the cleansing, detoxifying, maybe physically, um, but it might also be with relationships. Remember the change that you're going through or that's going to come up soon in your life is a good change. Embrace this change. Detachment may be necessary from a person, a place or a situation as well. So just remember that. And there is an energy of divine timing coming into play and you will feel it. You will know when the timing is right for something to happen. You will know. So let's take a look at the pendulum now. If you have a question you'd like to ask spirit through the pendulum, you're quite welcome to think of that a question now.
And the answer is yes. So check in with your intuition. How does that feel to you? How does this answer resonate for you? You can trust your own intuition. It's been wonderful to read for you today. I hope spirit has come through clearly with the messages that you need it to hear. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.